board. Oops. Okay. Let me turn my TV off. Hello? Hey. hey. Hello. Hi. How are you, How you doing? I'm okay. How are you? I've had better days. Yeah, I'd have worse ones. You never called me. She didn't call you? No, she didn't call me. I don't know if she didn't read the message or or what, but she should have been paying attention because I'm very serious about what I told her. I'm done with that bullshit drama. So I want 100% of her and I'll give her 100% of me. She says she said she, said she wasn't going to give me 100% of her anymore because she has guys down there that like her. I said, well, that's too bad. Are you guys broken up? I don't know. I'm not, I know I'm not, I'm not fucking, I'm not crying over her anymore. I'm tired of her bullshit. Good, Lorna. You shouldn't have to cry over some woman. I'm, I'm in love with her, but I'm in love with the woman she used to be. Not the fucked up woman in the head that she is now. I'm not crying over her bullshit. She can't fucking get a goddamn ass in bed at night and fucking at a decent hour and say she stays up all night talking to some fucking cocksucker. And she barely even stuck up on me last night. I tried to stick up for you, Lauren. I know you didn't. I just wish you'd stay away from the sexual stuff about me. But that's some of your best qualities. Yeah, but I get a lot better qualities than that. I know, but you do but look she sexy. Don't fucking, she, don't want, she don't want to pay attention. Well, she tells me about your physical qualities. She tells me about your hairy chest. What? And how your butt has so, no hair, and she likes that. She's concentrating on his moist lips. Well, I mean, I would, too. I see some nice uh, set of lips myself. I'd like to concentrate on. When it comes on. to cheating, I don't take cheating lightly. But it's not cheating if they're not fucking, though. I don't care what they're doing. She's going out on another date with another guy. That's cheating on me. And I'm not fucking putting up with that shit. You, you shouldn't, Lauren. No, it's always no one. You're too good for that. All of the women who and want you, you, you have way too many prospects to mess to mess around with somebody who won't even tell you she likes you over the phone. No, I'm not I'm not doing long distance then. Good. No way. You should go to Walmart. Go to Walmart. Oh, I want to go to Walmart for. Cause that girl who likes you she was working there. Get her number and start dating her face to face. Maybe. Maybe. I know I'm not waiting for Ramon to fucking wake the fuck up. Don't wait. She's not waiting for you. Maybe when she realizes what she lost, she'll come up to Maine and finally make it real. Um, the only one that can do that is her. And if and I, I tell her, I'll be out straight and honest. She goes over to dinner over at this fucking cocksucker's house on Friday night, tomorrow night. I'm not going to want her anyway. Well, she's she did on me once, she did on me again. And I consider going out on a date with someone with another guy when you have a boyfriend. I consider it cheating. But you guys are broken up, though. Well, we weren't. We got, we got back. We understood that we were back still last night. And the, the fucking, this drama bullshit is too much for me and too much for me to fucking deal with. And she wants to fucking go out on dates. And still have me, and that's not happening. I had enough of that horse shit. She's been fucked up ever since in the head ever since she got her fucking knee injury. So she can be fucked up with someone else. Okay, well that's healthy thinking. Did she text you this morning? No, nothing. No. Are you? Yeah. She did they call you? She called me on her way to the surgery. Oh, really? <laughs> she, she said called you, but she couldn't call me. She said that her brother followed the ther the therapist in the car he rented. Um, she said her, her and her brother 
followed the therapist and the guy that there was rented. No, no, the therapist took Ramona and brother followed them or was following them when she called me. Who who's following? Who's Ramona riding with? With the therapist. Of course. She <laughs> said that the therapist in the car. She said that he went to her front door and she was in her wheelchair and he picked her up and carried her all the way to the car and then put her in the car. Of course. Yeah. Damn it, she's done because she get a she get a, her head all fucked up. Well, you can have the therapist. She goes probably will the have therapist. Them. She goes over to the fucking therapist's house tomorrow the night for dinner. There's no way in hell she'll ever get me back. Well, at least you know she'll be in pain, so he can't get up all in them guts. I, I don't give a fuck. She goes over there tomorrow night. I give a fuck less what, what the fuck they do because I'm not going to care at all. But you do care. No, no I, I cared when I knew she cared. When she's acting like this, I don't give a fuck. I'm tired of caring. I've gone through too much hell caring about her with my fucking probation officer and the counselor and my, and my therapist all getting in to try to fucking believe in her like I do. Well, like I did. It's been close to a year, so it's probably good that you guys stop before you really fall in love. Mm -hmm. Well, the only one that fucking stopped her from coming up here to see me is her. The fucking, if I don't behave myself for three months, that she's not coming up here because she's scared. That's a fucking rack of bullshit. Maybe I she's... I don't give a flyer. That's what she says. Maybe she's scared. Lauren, can I... All right. She told me... There's a big reason why she's been acting the way she has. And why is that? Because she told me that you told her that you wanted to see her in a diaper and you wanted to change her diaper and wipe her pee. All right. No <laughs> I... Hi, everybody. It's Ember Inferno, and I am really excited to repeat this last part for you this is where I was discussing with Lauren his diaper fetish he is really into it and then he tried to deny that he was but there have been texts and there are phone calls I haven't heard the calls but I've seen the texts and I spoke with him about this so you're going to find out something gross about Lauren that none of us ever, ever, never, ever would have been able to predict. So um, this is just going to be a short stream today. I remember saying some things between phone calls with Lauren and the calls that uh, come after this. So... If you guys don't mind kind of waiting, I can skip around and see where the relevant and public streaming, oops, I'm getting a text from Lauren, should come from. Okay, everybody, diaper talk. Ramona's diaper, I like it when it's filled with pee. <laughs> she said that was really fall in love. Mm -hmm, yeah. The only one that fucking stopped her from coming up here to see me is her. The fucking, if I don't behave myself for three months, and she's not coming up here because she's scared. That, that's a fucking rack of bullshit. Maybe I she's... Give a flyer. Yeah, that's what she says. Maybe she's scared. Lauren, can I... All right. She told me... <sighs> There's a big reason why she's been acting the way she has. And why is that? Because she told me that you told her that you wanted to see her in a diaper and you wanted to change her diaper and wipe her pee. <laughs> she, she said that was weird. She said that was weird, that it made her think that you have experience taking diapers off of babies and getting turned on. That's what she fucking tells you. 
Yeah. A few weeks ago. She has got some fucking, she has got some fucking issues. Is that true? She wears a fucking diaper. She said she wore, she was going to wear one on a plane, and you got really excited. And you were I talking, was really excited. I, I laughed about it. And you wrote her a poem about it, and you talked to her about it. Yeah, I, I, wrote, I, I wrote a poem saying that in, be a smart ass. That you got excited to change her diaper, and you wanted her to take a picture of herself in the diaper, and that you wanted to wear a diaper. I didn't want a picture of her in a diaper, and I didn't want her in a fucking diaper either. She said you said... The only thing I said about a fucking diaper was a fucking joke. Really? Because yeah, it, yes. it really bothered her. She said that she just That's... she didn't want to wear a diaper for you, and you really wanted her to. I didn't really want her to fucking wear a diaper. I was making a joke with her because she wears fucking diapers in her, in her car when she's working. That way she doesn't have to stop the pee. Yeah, that's what she, she told me. Diapers. Huh? Yeah, she told me she did, that she has an incontinence yeah. problem, but she didn't. I, I, I thought it was a little weird when she told me that. So I said, well, whatever. You know, she's a decent woman. So I'm not going to hold that against her. The only thing I ever said about diapers is I wasn't kidding. She wants to take it out of context. That's her problem. No more. I, I really don't. I don't give a fuck anymore. I'm, I'm not playing the games. Well, that's. She told me that's when her feelings started to change for you because you wanted to have sex with her in the diaper. I didn't want to have sex with her in the diaper. And you wanted her to pose and pull the diaper all the way up and take a picture for you in it. No. I didn't do that shit. It's amazing how some fucked up shit is being said that I didn't even say. Well, I don't know. I mean, she's. She just said it. Uh, really Hi, Danimation, and anybody who came into this a little bit late. The first, the first part of this call was me and Lauren just shooting the shit and him being stupid, and this part of the call, however, talks about Lauren liking Ramona's. Uh, Ramona told him a story about a diaper and Lauren got really excited and kept asking her about it so she fed into it I guess and uh, it was brilliant because we get <laughs> this new <laughs> weird fetish that you'll hear Lauren later on deny but as I said before there are screenshots I already have a screenshot on Cod's Angel uh, channel somebody I believe it was Crush Davis pointed out in one of the texts that Lauren had talked about changing her diaper. So he's really excited to do it. Hi, Zachary. Um, I'm sorry, you guys, too, if I'm not looking at the chat. I have my dad over right now, and we're listening to Lauren and laughing. But um, in between, I'm not <laughs> I'm looking at the chat too much. So, yeah. Okay, so that is what's going on for anybody who needed an update. I'm not sure if... Um, let's see. I'm not sure if this get, this is going to last much longer because these calls are long and I wanted to just pull out the diaper gym as something to have fun with tonight. Uh, it really bothered her. Uh, it bothers me that she's talking things to her back. She, uh, anything I said about fucking diaper, I was joking. She said you're a diaper sleeper. The, 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 reason, uh, the reason I told her that she should wear a diaper on the plane is because she doesn't like it. Uh, like using public bathrooms. And she said that I yes. sent her pictures of your caca and your pee pee. No, I didn't know. Well, I was joking. She said you're a diaper sleeper. The, 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 reason, the, the reason I told her that she should wear a diaper on the plane is because she doesn't like, like using public bathrooms. And she She's said that after the diaper conversation, you sent her pictures of your caca and your pee pee. No, I didn't know. You didn't? No, I didn't. I got. No, I'm fucking tired. No, I'm fucking tired of talking about that shit. I got pictures of it of it that you sent her from Nathaniel of your poop and your pee pee, and you're holding your penis while you pee in another one. <laughs> She, uh, she has to see a picture of my shit. 
actually wanted to see if, if my shit was any different than vegan shit. <laughs> I thought that shit was fucking weird. I was like, are you fucking serious? Why the fuck would you want to see a picture of my shit? <laughs> okay, because I want to see if it looks different than vegan in, the, in my shit. I'm vegan. God damn it, I hate that so much. Okay, so I'm gonna skip. <laughs> I'm gonna skip. Oh, Jesus. Alright, alright. I'm gonna skip to the next um, portion of the diaper talk. But do you guys wanna hear Lauren sing? Would you rather hear Lauren sing or you wanna hear part two of the diaper talk? All right, what's going on? I know, I'm sorry, no. <laughs> They're noticing that you, they heard you say, oh shit. Oh, diaper, okay, let's, let's go to the diaper. So that was the last part of the diaper talk for that conversation with me and Lauren. Later on, Lauren and Ramona discuss it. So this isn't live, by the way. Of course you know that. Of gills. All right. You just, uh, you're gonna hear about 20 or 30 seconds of silence while I find the spot. Okay, so if you recall, Ramona and the therapist were supposed to go out to dinner tonight. So <laughs> the first part of this little section is just Lauren. I swear, you guys, for a whole fucking hour, this fool complained and complained and threatened Ramona about him leaving her. And he's supposed to go out on a date tonight with some girl. But if she goes out on a date with the therapist, that they're completely through. So, of course, at the end of the call, he relents and tells her what she can do as far as, you know, guidelines to her date with the therapist. So you're going to hear that part right now. And then it'll go into the diaper talk. You don't, you don't need to dress up in something sexy either. I'm not dressing up in anything sexy. I'm having jeans and a t-shirt on. Well, and I, I can dress myself, you know. But, yeah, but you don't need to do anything to turn them on. If he chooses to get turned on by what I wear, then that's on him. Um, wear fat lady clothes. Wear fat lady clothes? Yeah. Or, or something real ugly. So now you're telling me how to dress? I'm, uh, I'm trying to be fucking funny here. Well, go have fun, okay? You used to laugh at that shit. Well, I mean, you're telling me how to dress and telling me to wear fat lady clothes. Yeah. I was trying to make a joke, but, you know, like, you, know, like you don't remember about the diaper thing. That was a fucking joke. You laughed at it when I said it. I it know. But, uh, well, it was I, a joke. I don't know why you twist that around. I didn't. We both know you used to get turned on <laughs> by the thought of me and my diaper. We haven't talked about me and my diaper. I didn't get turned on by it. 
You I said you wanted funny. to have sex with me while I wore it. No, I did not. Yes, you did. I said did. I was going to change your diaper for you. I was trying to be funny about saying that. You they don't have to change their own diaper. You said that you wanted, first of all, you talked about changing my diaper and then having sex. And then you talked about <laughs> having sex through my diaper. No, I did not. Yes, you did, Lauren. <laughs> I didn't say about anything about having sex through your diaper. Lauren, you did. I tell I did. I know not be more. I didn't say that. And then what did you? What are you saying that you said? Because I remember every time I come home from work, you say, "Well, pin your diaper for me." I, I, I was trying to be funny, and you laughed then. I and I still laugh. I, I still laugh at that. What I said before was, "I'll change your diaper, and then, and then we can have sex." <laughs> you know, I, take your, I mean, I take your diaper off, and I, and I clean you up, and then we have sex. <laughs> That's what I was saying. I wasn't saying I'd put another diaper on you and we have sex through your diaper. Well, you know what I meant. It's difficult. Well, I, that that would be impossible, but you know what I meant. Have sex well, that's what I was trying to think of. That would be impossible to do. But you know what I mean? Like, have, 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 have my diaper as a part of our sex life. That's what you were saying. No, the other thing I was saying was I would change the diaper, I would take the diaper off, and I would clean you up, and then we could have sex. That's what I was saying. <laughs> the, nobody else knew anything about you wearing a diaper. I don't know why you would even tell Emma that. Don't tell her personal shit like that. Well, I, well, okay, I, I, I didn't tell her in a douchebaggy kind of way. I told her that you were... That you thought that it was. What did I tell her? I think you told her that I thought it was sexy or something like that. Yeah, that you. <clears throat> Hold on a second. <clears throat> <That> you... <laughs> and I told her that in a like you know like I just you know nobody else I would imagine would think that I was um. You know, you was, basically, basically that, you know, I told her it, factually, I told her matter of fact that nobody else, nobody else knows that I wear a diaper. Nobody else is that bro. Yeah. And, you know, yeah. well, they, that's why my mouth dropped when Emma said that. Well, I, and I told her that nobody else here, here meaning where I am, you know, friends and family and stuff, nobody else knows that. I wear one, and I told you, and I had said it as not only does he know, but he also finds it sexy that I wear a diaper. I, I, I find that more funny as hell than I do sexy. I, I think it's just funny because it's, and, and I, it's special to me because you share something really secretive with me, and I love that. And I didn't tell, I haven't told anybody. That's why I couldn't believe that Emma knew it. But she turned it around. She oh, turned and it I around. Remember, wait, 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 wait. I remember something else that you said. You asked me when I, I can't remember if you, I can't remember which version of this you said, but you'll remember. When you said, when I come up, um, when I, when I come to meet you, can I wear only, <laughs> can I wear only my diaper and a coat over it when I come to meet you. I don't remember saying that. I, I remember saying, uh, telling you wear a diaper on the plane if it makes you comfortable. Yeah, and, and, you, said, and, and, you, wear, and, and you said, and just wear a coat over it. You knew I was going to wear it on the plane. I'm a yeah, so I bought him. I, uh, maybe, I, maybe I did say that because it would have been fucking hilarious. <laughs> because you wanted uh -huh. me to, you, he's a goofy. <laughs> You wanted me to wear just my diaper and a coat, and I'd show up in just my diaper and a coat. Uh, that would have that made me laugh my ass off if you really did. I would've, that would have been so fucking hilarious. I wouldn't believe that you would do it anyway, but it would've been, that would be fucking hilarious. Can you spank me while I wear my diaper and then take it off and have sex with me? I don't remember saying, well, I wanted to spank you anyway in a, in a nice way. Well, I didn't mean... You I, I don't remember anything with a diaper. I don't remember I anything with that. I didn't mean you Roscoe spanked me. I just meant you gently spanked me while I was wearing my diaper. 
and that you. I'd, I'd much rather have you have you back off than I would on when I when I spank you. Wait, what? I said I'd rather have you have a have you back off than I would on when I spank you. Oh, my hand, my hand, that's your sexy ass. Oh, my hand, could actually touch your sexy ass. Oh, my hand, could actually touch your sexy ass. Oh, my hand, could actually touch your sexy ass. No, I'll show up in my diaper where, having a pacifier and just like a, a French <laughs> clip. Uh, I just thought about that, too. <laughs> and I just popped in my mind, if you showed up in your diaper, I'd have a pacifier there for you. <laughs> 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 That's fucking funny shit. <laughs> Maybe one of them with plastic uh, key ring things. <laughs> yeah, like that. Come on, and baby. <laughs> and I'll run around in my diaper with a pacifier in my mouth. <laughs> oh, that'd be fucking hilarious. I don't know, I really wouldn't want to do it because it would also be extremely embarrassing, too. Well, no one else would see. No. Well, at the airport? Well, I wasn't thinking about the airport, but... That's what I was thinking. When you get off the plane, hand you a pest fire and a plastic set of key rings. Oh, <laughs> those key rings. Oh, okay, those key rings. <laughs> yeah. That would be fucking hilarious, but extremely embarrassing. Well, I, I think that's a way to get kicked out of the airport. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that would be a really good way to get kicked out of the airport and probably arrested. Because they'd probably wonder what was inside of the diaper. But you know what? How Emma turned it around was that she said that that was, was about the diaper thing. That was when you started having different uh, second thoughts about me and thinking that you know, there's something wrong because he likes me wearing a diaper. And no. It be because of my charge. And she turned it around. What does it do with your charge? Uh, and plus, I, I figured, I didn't think that you being attracted to me wearing my diaper would be any kind of, um, like, I, I didn't think you being attracted to me while I wore a diaper was anything that would associate with your charge not at all I, I don't know if she heard me wrong but i mean what i what i was saying to her and what i still say is that you are one of totally three people who know including me who know that i wear one on planes and stuff like that just because you know i'm a germaphobe and i don't want to touch you know i death germs yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, i don't want to be in the damn public restroom but i figured i'd tell you because i figured you'd have something interesting to say and you did, and, you know, you came up with a way to sexualize my diaper, and that's, mm -hmm. you know, that's, that's fine. She, she, she turned it around as, as, as a, a kid thing. Well, no, she did. people don't wear diapers, though. People do. But not. There are people that you don't want to tell. Well, I mean, you know, like, I get, well... Kids tend to not wear diapers, certainly not like adolescents and teenagers and whatnot. I thought it was funny as hell. And, 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 and I, I, thought, I thought it was special because, because you shared it with me. It is. And, um, and, and, and I don't, you know, I don't, I don't fault Emma at all because I think that she, you know, I think she must have heard it wrong. I think probably the way that I said it, because I was angry at the time, and I was like, he's the only fucking one who knows about me and my diaper, you know? And <laughs> You don't really think that I would put something out like that? So no, 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 no. I just meant, like, like, he's like, well, okay, he doesn't trust me, but, like, I told you that about me that literally... All right, everybody, this is the end. I just wanted to share the diaper gaka's stuff with you. Um, I am going to go, but 
if you guys aren't doing anything later on tonight, it is our goal to see if we can get Lauren on because we want to hear him talk about his dates. So that is all. Um, I know it was a short one, but it was like Lauren's penis, girthy, and I tried to make it count. Okay, everybody, take care. Bye.